Harry Potter, a Hogwarts mystery. We are back at it again today to carry on from where we left off. You're probably wondering, Jordan, you, you're somewhere else. <laughs> that is because I went to record one video and, well, uh, technical issues. Yeah, some trouble with it, though, certainly. Basically, uh, the data corrupted and everything, and it just basically got fucked. So, yes. I tried to repair it, it didn't work. Yeah. But we're here now. <laughs> so, we're getting right back into it with some more of this series. I'm thoroughly enjoying playing this. Um, a lot of you folks have been enjoying it as well, I hope. Um, yeah, so let's get straight back into this. So, Lumos, and let's get into the video. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I have a Harry Potter wand. Yes. That's how much of a fan I am. Allow it. <laughs> Alright. So, right now, we are going to go on to Mounting the Broom. Let's get it. Right. Five stars. You kidding? I'm letting me on, mate. Oh, welcome to flying class. Today we will learn to mount our brooms. Don't fall. A well-maintained broom is a fast broom to your broom care stations. Let's get it. the polish. A yuggy. <laughs> oh, I'm in one of them goofy moods again, aren't I? This is going to be a fun one. Alright, lecture. Listen up, boys and girls. I am going to explain several important bits of in information to you. Answer the question. Now, let's see... If you've been paying attention, who can answer this question? Which Quidditch player guards the hoops? That is, the keeper. Ugh. And the courage is now at a level of three. In demonstration. Listen up, everyone. I am going to demonstrate proper broomstick techniques. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, man and pooch. Hey, yo. Give me the courage. Alright. Let's focus. Oh, I bossed that. I bossed that. Prepare to summon your broom. Alright. 
It's time to practice summoning your brain. Step up, hold out your right hand, and say, Apple. Get that knowledge out. your bones out <clears throat> be a lot it would be cool if you could use your one come on <laughs> prepare to mount your broom the time has come to climb up aboard your broom stay focused and uninjured Marula's not having a good time there Get my knowledge up. We only got up. Alright, focus. <laughs> Boshed it. Nice. Woohoo! <laughs> Five house points. All right, now we got Nox. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. I'm loving five fucking stars. Hmm. The opposite of Lumos is Nox. This spell is the subject of today's lesson. If you need to extingu extinguish your wand in a pinch, Nox is the way to do it. Allow me to demonstrate Nox. We only got up. Nox is the incantation for the wand extinguishing charm. Give me the knowledge. Knowledge, strength, and integrity. Booyakasha! Empathy is a level 5A. We only got up. We got up. <laughs> oh, I'm in a weird mood. Hmm. Many people misunderstand what the wand extinguishing charm does. Read the board for the correct answer. We got up. Level 4, knowledge. Oh. Skitty pat pat pat. So you wouldn't do this in the middle of a classroom. You wouldn't do that shit. You don't do them things in the class in the classroom. <laughs> review Nox. Please review the board and your notes for how and when to cast Nox. Give me the courage. A little bit of courage. Don't forget how how to cast Nox focus. Ooh, we've just gotten that. 
bang on. Woohoo! But you just got that. Because that took a while to load. <laughs> you know the naughty game, you dizzy. You dizzy me now. <laughs> Uh, I believe you're ready to make an attempt. Try casting Nox. Nox. Boom. Try casting Nox. You ready? There we go. I got it in the end. That's all for today. That's all for today. Class dismissed. And last but not least, meet with Rowan in the Great Hall. What is up, Rowan? So I was brewing some potions in the common room, and Professor Sprout walked it uh, walked in. Did you get in trouble or? Mm -hmm. Just are you all right? I think so. Who was that? She didn't even stop. That's Raph. She's the toughest Quidditch player at Hogwarts. Raph, that's her name. Her last name. I think her first name is Erica. I don't really know her. But you know everyone, Penny. Raph isn't around much. She spends most of her time on the Quidditch pitch. She's expected to lead Ravenclaw to win the Quidditch Cup. Did she not realise she knocked me down or did she just not care? Perhaps she thought you fell. Only after she bumped into me. I think that's just how Raph is. Like I said, I don't see her often. So then I, pro I probably won't run into Raph again, or Raph won't run into me. Unless, unless you plan to play Quidditch next year, once you're part of the Quidditch crowd at Hogwarts. <laughs> well, I hear it's a whole new world. She just bumped me off. Boom, boom, shit. You're still here. I thought you'd get expelled for after dueling on school grounds. I was working the duel just. I've been waiting for someone to put Marula in a place, and no one's there. Unless it's supposed to be these people. Can you teach me Expelliarmus sometime? Are you alright, Roman? I was so worried when Marula hit, hit you with the knockback jinx. I'm fine. Thanks. It's not the first time I've been knocked down. I always get back up. You are not going to believe what just happened. I can't believe you're here, Just. Snape and Flitwick looked so angry after you drilled Marula. Thanks again for stopping her from bullying all of us. You're a hero. I don't feel like a hero. In fact, I think I might be cursed. What do you mean? I follow Snape and, Flitch and Filch to a corridor. They mentioned ice and bolts. Just like your visions. They said it had something to do with the mall situation. I don't understand, and I pride myself in understanding things. I don't understand either, but I'm hoping we can work it out together. I'll tell you everything that happened. Hmm. I always want to help you, Joss, but I'm worried about Flip, Filch and Stir. Um, what if we get caught? Touch your bag before, and I'll take the blame. We won't. Uh, I'll take the blame. I'm worried about your visions. Let, let me worry about it. We'll work it out together. Oh. I feel a little better, but there are still so many things that, that could go wrong. Everything will be fine. Just let me explain my plan. Uh, what about Snape? We'll try to avoid him. Snape adores me. You'll work out a brilliant plan. Filch will give us detention, uh, not if we stick together. Yeah, that's the best one. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right.
Right, what about the cursed vault? We'll do best we'll do our best to just to survive. We'll break the curse. We'll break the curse. You're right, Jules. I'll help you investigate that corridor. Let's get it. What do you think it all means? I'm not sure, but it has something to do with me, the curse vaults, and maybe even my brother. I have to investigate the upstairs corridor. You mean we have to investigate the upstairs corridor? Let's head there tonight after everyone goes to sleep. Bullet. This is where Snape and Filch were talking. I'm starting to have second thoughts, Just If Snape told Filch to stay on guard, he'll be back soon. The stories I've heard about how he punishes misbehaving students makes Snape look like a pleasant hufflepuff. Are you sure we should be? You're right, Rowan. Let's go. Wait, did you hear something? At the end of the corridor? Based on my research, there are at least 21 different entities that could be roaming the corridors at night, and every one of them is potentially terrifying. What should we do, Just Let's just search this place as fast as we can and hope when whatever it is isn't coming this way. Let's get it. <sighs> we aren't going to be able to work out what's really going on unless we get inside that room. An impenetrable lock, a mysterious door, and the constant threat of being caught by Filch. Getting into that room seems impossible, Just I'll find a way, but I'll need your help. I'm always here to help, but... Shh, someone's coming. Not someone, something. Oh, it's just a cat. That's not just a cat, just that's Mrs. Norris. She alerts Filch when students are misbehaving on school grounds. Oh no. You think she's going to get Filch? I don't know. But we'd better get somewhere safe like the common room. Run! You make the hardest task look easy. Boy, we are booked in it! Hang on. Let's go. Mr. Fultz was asking about you, Joss. Be careful. Does it feel cold in here to you? I heard Flit Flitwick is teaching you a lot. Us a lot more or something. Hey. You wanted to see me? Please tell me you did not lose Gryffindor. Another 20 house points, Joss. I'll find a way to get our house points back. You had better. Everyone in Gryffindor is suffering for your poor decisions. Aww. You're ruining any chance that we have of winning the house cup. What can I do to make it better? Go to class, focus on your schoolwork, do everything in your power to earn more house points. And I know this is very difficult for you, but please, stay out of trouble. <laughs> I will try. Hmm. Do better than try. You have portions class and charms class today. Get to your classes on time and get Gryffindor some house points. Ooh, penny. Shovel a hover a hot. Hey, just I heard McGonagall has a big announcement today. This is news to me. I wonder what it's about. Attention students! Before we begin today's study hall session, I am delighted to share a special announcement with all of you. 
starting today, the Sphinx, Dragon and Hippogriff Clubs will be opening their doors to new members. I've not heard of these those clubs before. What makes them special? These clubs allow Hogwarts most gifted students a chance to further their studies with like-minded students and receive highly prized benefits for their dedication. How can I get in, into one of the clubs? Each club has unique requirements that must be met to enjoy membership in good standing. Professor, you mentioned that these clubs are like for uh, for like-minded students. What disciplines do the club clubs cl cover? The Sphinx Club looks for mem members that perform well in charms, transfiguration, uh, uh, history of magic, and astronomy. The Dragon Club seeks members that show aptitude in flying, defense against the dark arts, dueling, and quidditch. And the Hippogriff Club accepts members that excel in portions, herbology, divinations, and care on magical creatures. Jeez, ecstatic. Your classes won't be the only place where you can make a good impression with these clubs. Students who are already members of these clubs will be looking for the best and brightest recruits in all your activities. What if I want to be part of all the love clubs? It is possible, but only Hogwarts most exceptional wizards and witches can become members of multiple clubs. Please see me privately. If you have any more questions, for the time being, we must begin our study hall session. I want to know more about the clubs. Mind going up there with me? Not at all. Wouldn't mind learning more myself. Mr. Moe, Miss Haywood. To what do I owe the pleasure? If you don't mind, Professor, we'd like to know a little more about the clubs. I'm here to answer any questions you may have. Let's get it. Clubs are a delight, and I hope to see both of you participate. This is a unique opportunity opportunity to realise your full potential and bond with your peers outside of your traditional classes. Sure sounds like it. I hope it won't be long until I get the chance to convince the Hippogriff members to let me join. My dear, I have little doubt that you will see an invitation uh, extended to you soon. It's a relief to hear you say that. You appear to be lost in your thoughts, Mr. Monk. May I ask which club sounded most appealing to you, the Dragon Club? I want I want the action. Sounds like I'll find it in the Dragon Club. I have heard that your dueling skills are remarkable. And I am sure they will uh, appreciate that. But don't forget about your flying and defense against the Dark Arts classes or performance in Quidditch. The Dragon Club appreciates those skills as well. But remember what I said earlier, it is possible to make uh, to take part in multiple clubs if you demonstrate your talents to your peers. Keep this in mind during your time here at Hogwarts. We will. We most certainly will. Very well. Now you better be on your way. I don't want to be responsible for being for you being late for your next class. Helping hours is its own reward. Let's go. We're in the Dragon Club, it seems. The Dragon Clubhouse. Jeez.
the pendle. As a matter of fact. Filch keeps walking in and out of his office every few seconds. He's a strange he's a stranger as he is scary. I heard today's lesson this is especially dangerous. How are things going with the plan, Jess? You are excused from today's lesson, Mr. Mal. Excused? Why? Today's spell is the knockback jinx. It is sometimes used in dueling and can be incredibly painful to its victim. Given your history, I think it's best not to teach you. Another dueling spell at this time. You're right, Professor. I can't manage to stay out of trouble, no matter how hard I try. I'm just trying to focus on my studies. Your humility and self-awareness lead me to believe that you may have learned from your mistake, Mr. Mull. Please take your seat. Let's get it. Today we will be learning the knockback jinx, an excellent spell for pu pushing things out of the way. Let's begin. My dear student, make sure you are prepared. Alright, Flipendor, let's get it. This is an old school one, this is... See, you did see many people use this spell in Harry Potter. Oh. Now I have a question for you. Let's see if you know the answer. What kind of spell is it's a jinx? Come on now, Flitwick. If you're gonna ask questions, make them good ones, please. I beg. Alright. Oh. The angle of your flipper no jigs is adjustable. Come look. <clears throat> Got it, 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 got Oh. Who thinks he can demonstrate this dance? Just Mo, come join me in the aisle, please. You ready? study Flapendo incantation. Oh. Please review Flapendo. We will be practicing in a moment. <sighs> Concentrate. Hmm. Alright, focus. Push the It's almost time to make your final preparations. Buzzing! Give me the knowledge. Right, it's time to ca cast Flipendo. Here it goes. You ready? Eh. 
That's incredible. <laughs> Good work, everyone. Be careful when casting the spell, or you could be the one who gets knocked back. Ah. Nice work, Juss. Someday they'll write a book about your expertise and charms, and I will read that book so many times that the pages will disintegrate. In the meantime, Flipenda will help us es escape the locked room, if we have to. It will help us defend ourselves if there's anything dangerous inside. We just need to keep working on our plan. Oh, got a potion. Potion. Scabbers. There we go. Ugh. Aren't you worried about Marina getting revenge after your job? I would be. I can't even keep track of how many house points you've lost, Gryffindor. No wonder everyone hates you. Snape is sneering at me even more than usual. Do you think he knows something? I just wanted to apologise again for duelling on school grounds, Professor Snape. The only thing I care less about than you is your apology, Maul. Sit down. It's so much fun doing Snape. Have you told anyone about what Snape had filtered in the corridor? No. No, I didn't tell anyone. Thankfully, no one believes anything you say. But you won't ruin my chances of getting inside that room. Why are you after the curse vaults? It's none of your business. It is my business because my brother was searching for the curse vault and he failed because you come from a family of failures. Now oh, shut up and pretend to study before Snape. He was just talking about the vaults. There will be no foolish one There will be no foolish wand waving. Like, I'm close! Today you will learn to brew an. Herbicide potion. The lesson starts today. We will create a potent herbicide. Do not let one drop find its way to the greenhouses. Watch closely. He's very slow, but quite articulate, isn't it? One mistake, brewing herbicide potion could have a lasting consequence. Stay focused. Got him. Is that different for you though if you're in Slytherin? Prepare to crush lion fish man. Um, um. <laughs> Alright. Give me the courage. You got up. That's how smug you get when you do something right in class and the teacher says, well done. <laughs> Don't say none of you do it. You all do it. 
add your ingredients like seed in the soil, but don't touch the soil. Give it the knowledge. Let's get it. Let's get it. Mm, boop, boop, boop. Prepare to stir. Even a task so simple as stirring a cauldron requires perfect technique. I will observe your attempt. With courage, the stir. Prepare to finish potion. Finish your potions quickly. I will not tolerate laziness. Got it. Just a swish and flick. Pretty sure you don't have to do that shit now. Do you expect the blood? See, it's a lot of fun to visit it. You should stir it two more times. Excuse me? Professor Snape said to stir the potion seven times clockwise. You only stirred it five times. You don't know what you're talking about. Shockingly, in this solitary instance, Moll is correct. Even a reckless and competent fool like you can become a middling wizard by following instructions, Moll. Ten points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Snape. Dismiss. Excellent. <laughs> Preparing for the broom with the Prefect appears. You return your attention to the locked door. Why does Snape want it kept secret and what does it have to do with you? <laughs> I Ooh, my phone's been popping. Hmm? Let's get it. A lot of 
Are you planning something, Joss? You look like you're planning something. I heard Penny here we're talking about you, Joss. All good things, of course. But finally, we're in a spell I don't find terrifying. Ah. Welcome, everyone. Today, you will learn the unlocking charm, Alohomora. It's a very, it's the very best spell when a wizard forgets his keys. Come to think of it, with Alohomora, why would a wizard even need keys? A discussion for another day, I suppose. What's up, everyone? Yeah. Alohomor is a spell that will open many doors for you. Let's begin with a demonstration of the unlocking charm. Watch me, students. close detention. Look at that, that's fucking brilliant. That's literally spap on, like, oof. What's wrong with me? Practice a little more. Oh. Moving on, I'm going to show you some tips for casting the unlocking charm. needs to change. Need to get some more. Cause hmm. Who again? You're just welcome to join me in the aisle. Oh. Please come and see what effect this spell has. Smashing this lately, you know. Study Allah Hamora incantation. Many young witches and wizards take liberties with pronunciation. Allah Hamora. Make sure you get it right. Jesus. Alohomora. Concentrate and remember Alohomora. Alohomora. Whoo! Those ones get you. You've got to be quick for them. Empathy for level 6. Oh, we are moving. Our lads are moving, moving. Our lads are moving, moving. Your lads are moving. I believe you're ready to make an attempt. See if you can unlock that lock in front of you. Ones out. That sounds a bit awkward. Wrong there. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Washed it. Done it. I done it. I done it. I done it. I done it. <laughs> you are a natural talent. Oh, 
what she is. Uh -huh. Well done, you've successfully unlocked another piece of knowledge at Hogwarts. And I'm one step closer to unlocking that door. Side quests. Go to the jeweling room. Jeweling room. Wait. I thought I knew it, everything that goes on at Hogwarts, but I've never heard anyone mention this room. Oh. Welcome to the Hogwarts Dueling Club. Why is he here? This room was built years ago as a safe and supervised environment for students to practice dueling. I'm sure you have noted the damage caused by various fire making spells and plasting curses over the years. Yeah. We leave this destruction as a reminder that casting a spell against friend or foe can have lasting implications. Dueling exists as a sport, but may also save your life, as many know, uh, know firsthand from the Wizarding War. I want all of you to learn this important skill before leaving Hogwarts, but only in this place under our supervision. The professor, professors will oversee every duel, led by our resident dueling champion, Professor Flitwick. Use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself and your classmates. We will take note of your performance and reward those who do well. And remember that the spells and potions you learn in class will help you to become a better jeweler. Enough of my brethren, face off two at a time and ready your wands. It's time to do it. It's time to do <laughs> Is the and the key can be coming out. It's time to do. Oh, you're wearing fourth now. Look at that. Let's go. Rub against Brandy. <sighs> well, she's thrown. She's beat us. Yeah, get that. She's gonna get that potion. She's gonna get that drink. <laughs> Jesus. Two turns. Shit. Alright. It's pretty almost. Oof. He's sneaky. Oh, she's done out here. She's done out here, fam. Get that heal, because you need it, man. Flipendo. Oh. There we go. The Flipendo. And it done out here. See you, Brandy. Call it. 
شبر حابنا أخاف لا يوا I've been I I've been busy excelling class I don't know how points for Gryffindor you're the one who got me points in flying class believe it or not I got points in portraits by helping the ruler not only have people been helping me get house points but I've came up with a plan to get in the room Miss Norris's garden brilliant what's your plan first we need to get past Mrs Norris if we give her a sleeping draw it will knock her out just long enough to let us die second we need a way to get inside the door the unlocking charm although Homora should do the trick third we'll need the knock back jeans for Pendor it'll help us escape if we get trapped inside the room like with the devil's snare if, if you ask Snape to help you through sleeping draw he'll get suspicious I'm going to ask Penny Haywood Penny Haywood she's the most popular girl in our year if not in all of Hogwarts she offered to help me if I ever needed anything and she said she's pretty good with fortunes she's being modest if anyone in our year knows how to brew a sleeping draw it's her what about Filch I was inspired by your love of research and decided to do some of my own research on Filch I think I could throw him off our trail there is one more thing what I think we'll need a firm third person to pull this off Penny I know she offered to help you but this is asking a lot just I know but I really think she could help knowing the gossip around Hogwarts could help keep us out of trouble and her fortune skills could help with whatever it is inside the door Good luck, Joss. Just let me know uh, when you're ready to execute the plan. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Alright. That is where we're going to leave it, folks. Thank you all ever so much for stopping on by and watching. Oh, it's been a fun one. Thank you all ever so much. We will see you on next time. Thank you all ever so much. If you are somehow new, don't hesitate to subscribe with notifications on. Trust the like button and get down in the comment section. Tell me what you enjoyed and where you could possibly see us improving for this year. Thank you all ever so much. I'll see you with a bizzle. Take care and uh, a push. I'm always waiting for you.